Hi students, welcome to our physics class. We have just finished our two chapters. Today, I am starting the third chapter. The name of the chapter is Current Electricity. This chapter is very important. The duration of this chapter is 50 hours. In this chapter, it is possible to ask for 14 mark and this is major chapter in second year. In chapters one and two, we studied the phenomena associated with the electric charges at rest. The study of electric charges at rest is called electrostatics. That is also called static electricity. We shall now study the motion or dynamics of charges. As the term current implies some sort of motion. So, the motion of electric charges constitutes an electric current. The study of electric charges and motion is called current electricity. Current electricity, actually, this is current electricity part one. So, what is the meaning of current electricity? Current electricity, it is a branch of physics which deals with the study of dynamics of charges or the flow of charges or the charges and motion. So what is the meaning of current electricity? Current electricity it is a branch branch of physics, branch of physics, which, which deals with the, which deals with the study of, deals with the study of electric charges deals with the study of electric charges in motion. Electric charges in motion. Okay, what is the meaning of current electricity? It is a branch of physics which deals with the study of dynamics of charges or flow of charges or simply electric charges in motion. That is the meaning of current electricity. We already had a brief idea about the electric charge. Now we are going to study about the electric current in details. So what is the meaning of electric current? It is very simple. Electric current means the amount of charge, amount of charge flowing through any cross section of a substance in a unit time. What is the meaning of electric current? The amount of charge, amount of charge flowing through, amount of charge flowing through any cross section of a conductor, any cross section of a substance in a unit time or simply the rate of flow of charge, the rate of flow of charge through any cross section of a substance is called electric current. So electric current means the amount of charge flowing through any cross section of a substance or conductor in a unit time or the rate of flow of charge through any cross section of a substance. Okay. What is the mathematical expression for electric current? That is very important. The mathematical expression for electric current is I is equal to Q divided by T. Q means 
total charge flowing t means the time taken i is the symbolic representation of electric current so i is equal to q divided by t so this is the mathematical expression for electric current actually the charge is quantized that means uh, q is equal to any right the charge is integral multiple of a basic charge what do you mean by charge is quantized charge is quantized means uh, integral multiple of basic charge basic charge means charge of an electron right so q is n e n e divided by t so this is another mathematical expression for electric current okay i is equal to q by t i is equal to ne divided by t in case of an electron revolving around a circle in case of an electron that is revolving around revolving around the nucleus okay so this is the central part of atom what is the charge on the nucleus charge on the nucleus is actually that is plus z e okay so actually what are the constituents in the nucleus protons and neutrons neutrons are electrically neutral protons having positive charge that means atomic number that means total number of protons present inside the nucleus is charge of proton total number of protons into charge of one proton that is charge on the nucleus so this is positively charged so here the electron that is revolving around the nucleus in a circular path suppose if the electron completes one rotation what amount of current produces in this orbit that is very important so that is another mathematical expression for electric current that is i is equal to here what is the value of n just one electron is revolving around the nucleus so n is 1 so 1 into e divided by t means time taken by the electron to complete one rotation that is the time period right what is the symbolic representation of time period this is capital t so this is another mathematical expression for electric current okay in case of an electron revolving around the nucleus if it completes one rotation what amount of equivalent electric current produces in the orbit that is i is equal to e divided by capital t in terms of all frequency in terms of frequency i is equal to e in the f because the reciprocal of time period is frequency reciprocal of time period is frequency right uh, in terms of speed and the radius of circular orbit the expression for electric current that is written in the form of actually uh, what is the meaning of speed the speed is the distance traveled divided by time taken distance traveled divided by time taken uh, for one complete rotation for one complete rotation so what is the total distance traveled by the electron the total distance traveled by electron that is Uh, circumference is it not for one complete rotation 
the total distance traveled by electron is 2 pi r x is equal to 2 pi r and the time taken time taken that is capital T so finally we will get uh, v is equal to uh, 2 pi or divided by capital T so T is equal to 2 pi or divided by V. T is equal to 2 pi or divided by V. So electric current mathematical expression in terms of uh, T and the radius of the circular orbit. So let us consider here radius of the circular orbit that is small okay so i is equal to e divided by what is the value of capital t here that is 2 pi r divided by v that means i is equal to e v divided by E V divided by 2 pi r. So this is another mathematical expression for electric current. Okay. The first one is I is equal to Q by T. The second one is I is equal to N e by T. Third one is I is equal to E divided by capital T, this is in terms of time period. And fourth one is I is equal to ES, this is in terms of frequency. And the last one in terms of speed and the radius, that is I is equal to EV divided by two pi r. So these five mathematical expressions are very, very important. So what is the meaning of current electricity? Current electricity that is a branch of physics which deals with the study of dynamics of charges or flow of charges or simply charges and motion. What is the meaning of electric current? Electric current means the amount of charge, amount of charge flowing through any cross section of the substance amount of charge flowing through any cross section of a substance or a conductor in a unit time or simply the rate of flow of charge rate of flow of charge through any cross section of a conductor rate of flow of charge through any cross section of a conductor is called electric current so these are the different forms of electric current. The first one is I is equal to Q by T. Second one I is equal to N E by T. Third one I is equal to E divided by capital T. Fourth one I is equal to E F. And last one I is equal to E V divided by two pi r. Okay. So what is the unit of electric current? That is very important. What is the SI unit of electric current? Ampere. The symbolic representation is capital A. So SI unit of electric current is ampere. Symbolic representation capital A. Uh, suppose if Q is equal to one coulomb, T is equal to one second, then 
what is the value of electric current? Electric current is exactly equal to one ampere. One ampere is equal to one coulomb divided by one second. One electric current flowing through any cross section of the conductor is said to be one ampere. So this is very important. One coulomb of charge, one coulomb of charge flowing through any cross section of a conductor in one second that will cause us a current of one ampere. That is actually the definition of ampere. What is the meaning of ampere? One coulomb of charge flowing through any cross section of conductor in one second that will cause us a current of one ampere actually ampere is much larger unit of electric current the smaller units smaller units or smaller units are milli ampere one milli ampere is 10 power minus 3 ampere and micro ampere one micro ampere is 10 power minus 6 ampere nano ampere one nano ampere means 10 power minus 9 ampere. So these are the smaller units, smaller units of electric current. Ampere is the larger unit of electric current, milliampere, microampere, nanoampere. These are the smaller units of electric current. Okay, when current flowing through a conductor is said to be 1 milliampere. So that is very simple definition. If 1 millicoulomb of charge, 1 millicoulomb of charge flowing through any cross section of a conductor in 1 second, that will cause us a current of 1 milliampere. Okay, so one current flowing through a conductor is said to be one microampere. So that means one microcoulomb of charge, one microcoulomb of charge flowing through any cross section of conductor in one second that will cause us a current of microampere. Right? Actually, the rate of flow of charge is called the strength rate of flow of charge is called the strength of electric current. Okay, how many electrons flowing through any cross section of a metallic conductor per second that will cause us a current of one ampere. Actually, this question is very important. <clears throat> how many electrons flow through any cross section of metallic conductor per second that will cause us a current of one ampere. So that can be calculated by using the formula. What is that? I is equal to N E divided by T. So here we have to calculate N, right? What is given? Current value is given, that is one ampere. Time is one second. E means charge of an electron. Okay. So here I value is one. And E value is uh, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. And what is the value of T? So the value of T is one second. So N is equal to 
n is equal to 1 into 1 is 1 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 90. So 1 divided by 1.6, what is the value of 1 divided by 1.6? That is actually 0 0.65, right? So 10 power minus 90, that is shifted to the numerator. So this one becomes 10 power plus 90, right? So this can also be written in the form of n is equal to 6.25 into 10 power 18. 6.25 into 10 power 18. 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons uh, flowing through any cross section of a metallic conductor per second that will cause a current of 1 ampere. So, how many electrons uh, flow through any cross section of metallic conductor per second to cause a current of 1 milliampere? So, in that case, here, what is the value of I? 10 power minus 3, right? So here the value is 10 power minus 3. So here, 10 power 19 into 10 power minus 3. And here, 10 power 18 into 10 power minus 3. Uh, that means 10 power 50. So, 6.25 into 10 power 50. 6.25 into 10 power 15 electrons flow through any cross section of metallic conductor per second that will cause us a current exactly equal to how much? That is 10 power minus 3 ampere. That is really ampere. Okay. So the next very important point, electric current is which type of physical point? Electric current Actually, electric current is a scalar. Electric current is a scalar physical quantity. Electric, electric current, electric current is A. Electric current is A. Scalar, scalar physical quantity. Is electric current vector? No, electric current is scalar. Okay, why electric current is scalar? Because it does not obey vector laws and the laws of simple algebra that can be used to find the net electric current. That is why electric current is not a vector. It is having both magnitude and also the direction. Electric current having magnitude and also direction, but it is not a vector. It is a scalar because it does not obey the vector laws. Vector laws means triangle law vector addition, uh, polygon law vector addition, parallelogram law vector addition. Electric current does not obey those laws and the laws of uh, simple algebra. Okay. And the next very important point the flow of charge between two points. Flow of charge between two points takes place, that is, due to. Uh, actually, there must be a conducting path between two points. Actually, this is a condition. Condition for the flow of charge between two points. The first condition is there must be conducting path between two points. The second very important condition is there must be 
the potential difference between two parts. So what are the conditions for flow of charge between two points? Flow of charge between two points can be take place only then. There must be conducting path between two points and there must be potential difference. Potential difference that is provided by a cell. What is the meaning of cell? Cell is a device which provides the necessary potential difference. To maintain a continuous flow of current in the circuit. Okay. And here, these are the positive charges flowing from back to right. Actually, the direction of flow of positive charges or the direction in which electric field is applied. Actually, this is the direction of electric field. Electric field is directed away from positive charge. Right? So the direction of flow of uh, positive charge or the direction in which electric field is applied, which gives the direction of electric current, which gives the direction of the conventional current. This is actually the direction of direction of conventional conventional current okay the direction of flow of positive charges or the direction in which electric field is applied gives the direction of conventional current so the direction of flow of electrons direction of flow of electrons gives the direction of electronic current. This is the direction of electronic current. What is this? Direction of electronic current. Okay. This is the direction of conventional current. This one is direction of electronic current. The direction of electronic current is just quite opposite to the direction of conventional current. Okay, the next topic is types of electric current. There are two types of electric current. One is direct current and another one is alternating current. One is direct current and another one is alternating alternating current and direct current is further divided into two types one is study direct current and another one is variable direct current so what is the meaning of direct current or study direct current so when electric current is said to be steady DC, as the time increases, the magnitude and direction of current does not change with time. That means in this case, uh, we will get a straight line that is parallel to time axis. So this graph shows as the time increases, the magnitude of current does not change with time. As the time increases, the magnitude of magnitude of current that will remain constant. So this is study, study DC. So variable DC means as the time increases, the magnitude of current magnitude of current changes with time but the polarity will remain constant polarity means plus or minus okay so here yellow curve shows as the time changes time increases what happens to the magnitude and direction of current 
that will change us with time. Okay, so this is variable direct current, and this is alternating current. So alternating current means the magnitude and direction, magnitude and direction of current changes with time, changes with time, and the polarity, polarity reverses periodically for every of cycle, for every of cycle polarity will change so this is alternating current okay so alternating current is much dangerous than dc current so one electric current is said to be steady steady dc the magnitude and direction of current does not change with time so then the electric current is said to be Study, study DC. So one electric current is said to be variable DC. The magnitude and direction of current changes with time, but polarity remains constant. It is variable DC. So one electric current is said to be alternating. So if the magnitude and direction of current changes with time and polarity reverses periodically for every of cycle, that is called alternating current so in india the frequency of ac frequency of ac this point is very important that is 50 hertz what is the frequency of dc so frequency of dc is zero what is the meaning of frequency frequency means the number of cycles per second okay so the frequency of AC in India that is 50 hertz. Frequency of DC is zero because here the number of cycles is zero. Okay, the next very important topic microscopic view of current through a conductor or electric current in conductor and derivation of an expression for drift velocity okay what are the charge carriers in metallic conductor this point is very important so the charge carriers in metallic conductor that is electron Electrons are the charge carriers in metallic conductor. That means current in metallic conductor is constituted by flow of electron. Okay, what are the charge carriers or current carrier in semiconductor? In semiconductor, the current carriers current carriers or current carriers or electrons and holes electrons and holes or the current carriers in semiconductor current in semiconductor is constituted by electrons and holes okay what are the charge carriers in discharge tubes those are electrons and electrons and ions. Electrons and ions are the current carriers, current carriers in discharge tubes. So current in discharge tubes is constituted by electrons and holes. So, what are the current carriers in vacuum tubes? Vacuum tubes. So, the current carriers are the free electrons. Free electrons are the current carriers in vacuum tubes. 
What are the current carriers in electrolyte? So the current carriers in electrolyte that is positive and negative ion. Positive, positive and negative ion. That means current in metallic conductor is constituted by electrons. Current in semiconductor is constituted by electrons and holes. Current in discharge tube is constituted by electrons and ions. Current in vacuum tube is constituted by free electron. Current in electrolyte is constituted by positive and negative ions. So these points are very very important. Okay. So this is a conductor. So here the electrons are uh, flowing inside the conductor randomly. In a conductor, free electrons, free electrons move randomly. In a conductor, free electrons move randomly with a thermal speed. With a thermal speed. That is of order, that is of order 10 power 5 meter per second to 10 power 6 meter per second. So, in any portion of the conductor, actually, this is in the absence of electric field, the flow of electron is so oriented. That is moving randomly. So, what is the net flow of charge through the conductor in the absence of electric field? So, in the absence of electric field, actually the net flow, net flow of charge through the conductor is zero. In the absence of electric field, the net flow of charge through the conductor is zero. Then, what amount of current flowing? If charge flowing through the conductor is zero, so what is the current? Current is equal to zero. Because I is equal to Q by T. If Q is equal to zero, then the value of I is also equal to zero. So, in the absence of electric field, the net charge flowing through the conductor is zero. Net current flowing through the conductor is zero. Now, one end of the conductor is connected to positive terminal of the battery and another end of the conductor is connected to negative terminal of the battery. So, immediately the electric field is set up across the conductor. Okay. This is the potential difference. Let's consider L be the length of the conductor. So, what amount of electric field set up across the conductor? That is actually E is equal to V divided by L. So V means the potential difference across the ends of the conductor. So immediately what happens means the electrons inside the conductor get accelerated because these electrons will experience force, force of attraction. That is because of electric field. The charged particle is placed in the presence of electric field. What happens? It will experience force, right? That is exactly equal to F is equal to QE, right? So then uh, the charged particle gets accelerated. Acceleration of the electron is according to Newton's second law. F is equal to MA. So 
Now comparing these two equations, QE is equal to MA, so A is equal to QE divided by M. That is the acceleration of the electron inside the conductor under the action of external electric field. In the absence of electric field, electrons moving randomly, the average terminal velocity is zero, net flow of charge through the conductor is zero, even current is also zero. But in the presence of electric field, the net flow of charge through the conductor is not equal to zero. In the presence of electric field, electrons get accelerated in a direction opposite to the direction of the applied electric field. Okay, so electrons are accelerated in a direction opposite to the direction of applied electric field. So due to this acceleration, electrons gain the extra velocity. Due to this acceleration, the electrons gain the extra velocity, but that is a very short time. Because the accelerated electron collides with other free electrons inside the conductor. During this collision, the extra velocity gained is completely destroyed. And again, the electron will get accelerated under the action of external electric field. So, electron is moving like this. Electron is moving opposite to the direction of the applied electric field. Actually, this is called the drift velocity. So, this is actually the direction of drift velocity the vector physical quantity vd vector so vd vector is opposite to the direction of applied electric field so finally here the electrons acquires a very small velocity that is moving opposite to the direction of the applied electric field actually that is called that small velocity is called the drift velocity so, what is the meaning of drift velocity? That is very important. Drift velocity means the average velocity with which the free electrons in a conductor, average velocity with which free electrons in a conductor get drifted, get drifted in a direction opposite to the direction of applied electric field. So that is the definition of drift velocity. This is the meaning of drift velocity. So drift velocity means average velocity with which free electrons and a conductor get drifted in a direction opposite in a direction opposite to the direction of applied electric field. Okay, now let us derive the expression for uh, drift velocity. Okay, so this is a cylindrical conductor that is connected to a battery. So the force acting on electron in the electric field is first here, let us consider force, force acting on electron, force acting on electron that is due to the electric field, force acting on electron due to electric field. What is that? That is F vector is equal to minus E minus E into E vector. So this is the force acting on electron due to the electric field. Now call this equation number one. Now according to 
uh, Newton's second law of motion force in terms of acceleration this is according to Newton's second law f vector is equal to m into a vector we call this as equation number two now from equations one and two now comparing equations one and two then we will get m a vector is equal to minus e into e vector and a vector is equal to minus e e vector divided by m this is the acceleration of electron acceleration of electron under the influence of electric field but this acceleration lasts for a short time. Why? Because the accelerated electron collides with other free electron or ions inside the conductor. During that collision, extra velocity gain actually that is completely destroyed. Okay. So, uh, A vector a vector is vd vector vd vector in very short interval of time it is tau actually here tau this is called the relaxation time what is this tau is relaxation relaxation time what is the meaning of relaxation time relaxation time means the small interval of time between two successive collision the small interval of time between two successive collision between electrons or ions in the lattice that is the meaning of relaxation time relaxation time is the small interval of time between two successive collisions between electrons or ions in the lattice and this is of order 10 power minus 14 seconds this is of order 10 power minus 14 seconds and vd vd is called the drift drift velocity drift velocity and this is of order 10 power minus 5 10 power minus 5 meter per second this is the order of our drift velocity what is the meaning of drift velocity average velocity with which free electrons in a conductor get drifted the direction opposite to the direction of applied electric field. What is the meaning of relaxation time? A small interval of time between two successive collisions between electrons and ions in the lattice. Okay, uh, now call this equation number three. This is equation number four. Now from equations. 3 and 4. So we get Vd vector divided by tau is equal to minus E E vector divided by M. Minus E E vector divided by M. Okay. So finally, Vd vector is equal to minus E E vector, small e, e vector 
tau divided by m so the magnitude of drift velocity is e e tau divided by m the magnitude of vd vector is vd so vd is equal to e e tau divided by m so this is mathematical expression mathematical expression for what drift velocity vd is equal to e e tau divided by m okay so this is the mathematical expression for drift velocity in terms of relaxation time so here e means charge of electron uh, capital e so this is electric speed tau is relaxation time that means the small interval of time between two successive collisions between electrons or ions the lattice uh, m means the mass of electron okay thank you